Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this concept residue. Okay. We are going to discuss definition as well as formulae for finding residue of given function at particular point. Okay. Tell me what is title of this playlist residue theorem. Okay. And this concept we are starting in this 12th video. In first 11 videos, we have seen singularities, types of singularities. And right now we are starting the actual concept residue. So let us discuss. Okay. What is residue? So let me write the definition directly here. If, if Z naught is a singular point of F of Z and Lorentz expansion, it is related with Lorentz expansion. Huh? Lorentz expansion of f of z about z is equal to z naught is okay that means z naught is a singular point basically it's a singular point and it's Lorentz series expansion of f of z about z is equal to z naught is like this we are familiar with that summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z minus z naught raised to n we call it as an analytic part and in the principal part, we have this bracket in denominator. That means principal part will be like this B1 upon Z minus Z naught plus B2 upon Z minus Z naught square plus and so on Bn upon Z minus Z naught raised to n plus and so on. So this is Lorentz series expansion of f of Z about Z is equal to Z naught, right? Then b1 this b1 okay this b1 that is coefficient of 1 upon z minus z naught you can easily see b1 is what coefficient it is a multiple of what 1 upon z minus z naught is called residue it's called residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught okay so this b1 is called residue getting the point this B1 is what residue. So that means when you want to find residue, what we have to do, we have to find Lorentz series expansion. And you have to search for this term 1 upon Z minus Z naught. It's multiple. It's multiple can be any constant 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 4 by 5. Anything can be there constant. That is called residue. So that is called residue. Understood? But see, when you have pole, if you have, uh, see, Z0 is singularity. Various types of singularities are there. Pole, isolated, essential singularity, removable singularity and many more. But see, if the given singularity is pole, there are some special formulae to calculate residue. This is the definition of residue, but it is very hectic. No, First of all, we have to find uh, Lorentz series expansion. Then we have to find residue. It's a very heavy task. So if it is a pole, we have very simple formulae. Very simple formula, getting uh, to find the residue. Just make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So let us discuss these formulas now, right? Calculations of residues at poles, okay? See, these formulas are applicable if Z0 is a pole. If it is isolated essential singularity or any kind other kind of singularity, then these formulas are not applicable. These are applicable only when that Z0 is a pole, right? So the first formula is if Z0 is a simple pole. Simple pole means what? Pole of order 1. If Z0 is a simple pole, then, then let me write a formula. Residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught the formula is limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z if it is a simple pole we have very simple formula for that okay so now the second case if z naught is a pole of order n getting if it is a simple pole simple pole means what pole of order 1. In that case, we should go for this formula. And if it is it is a pole of order n, that means 2, 3, other than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In that case, then we go for the second formula, then residue 
of f of z at z is equal to z naught is equal to 1 upon n minus 1 factorial that n okay order 2 order 3 that n you have to use here limit z tends to z naught n minus 1 derivative okay with respect to z z minus z naught raised to n f of z so this formula we have to use if it is a pole of order n okay so if the given singularity is a pole of order either 1 or greater than 1 then we go for this formula very uh, these formulas are very simple easily we get the answer getting but if it is not a pole if it is isolated singularity or other kind of singularity then we should go for the definition you should find Lorentz series expansion and that b1 is a residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught okay so in next videos we are going to discuss several examples based on that so by solving the examples the concept will be more clear to you make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video